Do you want to see what is in the November 2022 Spellbinders Kit Club of the Month? Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com and I'm here to help you make the most of your crafty supplies and time. So let's take a look. I kind of like to open this on camera and see it all for the first time when I share it with you. So that's what I'm doing. I have no idea what's in here. I just know it's called Time Offline for the November 2022 kit. Okay. Ooh, very pretty, very fall-like. I guess the kind of theme is like into the woods kind of thing. Um, Cause you know, if you're outside, you're not spending time online, you have no service. So let's see, there is a paper that tells you what is in the kit. There's always cards and envelopes. There are 10, you can make way more than 10 cards and you can of course use the other card stock to make cards, like card bases, or you can just pull in your own extra card bases. Then there are nine pieces of cardstock, it says. I love that they always include one of their like really nice mirrored cardstocks because they die cut beautifully. And I think that they always do a nice job of picking the colors that you would want to use when die cutting the elements of the kit. So there's a baby blue, white, orange, red, a burgundy, dark green, a more sort of standard green, a navy blue, and then of course that gold. Like I said, that gold is, love it, gorgeous. Okay, then a set of 10 dies, and that, they actually show you them here, so I'll just kind of hold that closer so you can see what all the dies look like, what they come packaged. I like the idea of this frame as a way of kind of a place to put all of your images or as just a great basic to add to your die collection. Then a paper pad. I love their paper pads and the colors this month are gorgeous. I really love this color palette. I may say that a lot just because I, I just love colors so I don't really care. Um, but the like there's a lot of colors that I would like together and when designers are picking how to com combine colors then they're gonna look gorgeous. They know exactly what pinks and purples and teals in this case go together. I love that this kit is very neutral overall. There's been a couple kits that might be classified as feminine recently. There was like a butterfly kit and a so it was called So Happy, I think, like a sewing based kit. They just had like a lot of pinks. Not that you can't make a card for a guy with pink, and this has pink in it too. But just kind of like toning down some of those more classically feminine motifs and going, like, I mean, how pretty is that? Like, you know, there's not really leaves like that in nature probably. They kind of get those like reds in fall, um, but it just looks beautiful together and I like that little splash of pink. Okay, and there are, I think, 40 sheets in these, so you can make a ton of cards, especially if you use my paper busting templates. So I have over on JessCrafts.com, there are paper busting templates that show you how to cut one piece of six by six paper to make like usually two, but sometimes up to four cards. So if you use something like that, you can get a lot out of these collections. Then there are puffy stickers. Ooh. I think that's these ones, yep. And so a lot of great words there. Um, they definitely look like a good combination of like scrapbooking and then maybe some more clearly card sentiments like, hey there, happy camper, you could go on a card or have a wonderful day. And um, then other ones like good foods plus good friends plus great adventure, definitely a little bit more uh, something I would think to put on scrapbooking but still great colors again and I like when things like that can make it easy to embellish a card foam stickers so these have different sentiments and words that you could use so adventure awesome hey outdoors chipboard embellishments that's these I always appreciate the like extra glitter or not glitter um foiling 
because I don't do hot foiling. It's just not something I've invested in, at least the time of recording. I'm, I'm always willing to be tempted. Um, so when I have embellishments that have some of that for me. And then there's the campers. We like to camp, but we do not have a camper. We're more of like, a, we're tent camping people. So there's a tent too though. Chipboard embellishments, sequence. These pretty blue die cut shapes. Oh, these are always the like amazing. There's always so many of them. There's they add in a lot of cuteness and sentiments. And there's two. So like each design, there's two of it, which is like really works out well when I do my paper busting templates because then I if I make two cards with one sheet of paper, I can, you know, put the same embellishment on the two cards and I don't have to think as much. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of spread them out a little bit. To, oh, this pink owl. There's, everyone's gonna have their favorite ones. The foxes, love that. Love something like this, cause like then you would just be able to put like a sentiment across it and really finish off a card. Sleeping bags and campfires and campers and mountains and a lot of flowers several styles of campers, some things you could use for scent. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love critters personally. I know some people are like really like into floral stamps, for instance, or floral motifs. i am always been a person into like, I always say critters because like sometimes they're not like animals. Like if it's like a unicorn, I'm like, I guess that's not technically, because like, it's not real, but you get my drift. Or like, yeah, they're fantastical creatures. But butterflies, yeah, love these. Love the foil element again because I don't do hot foiling. Even though Spellbinders make some gorgeous hot foiling things that are always tempting me. And then the last thing, oh, I missed the stamp set. I set it up there, sorry. Here's the stamp set. It has a camper and a tent. I like that they have both for those of us who are tent campers versus camper campers. And, um... The trees, these are generally acrylic stamps, but they stamp beautifully. Um, wander, wander often, wonder always. You make me a happy camper. Hey there, life is a journey. Here's to another year of adventures. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a fun birthday sentiment. Take time to enjoy your birthday. Yeah, this one I could certainly um, see being like, I would keep it for the sentiments. So like even if I was finished with the kit, I love that about the Spellbinders kits in general is I could use a bunch of the elements of the kit, but I still at the end, I have a stamp set and a die set to build my stash with. I don't think I've mentioned yet. I am part of a, I have part of agreement with Spellbinders where I get sent the kits in advance to work with and inspire you. So to be clear, this kit was sent to me in exchange for design work. Okay. And then, yeah, the foam squares and adhesive tape. One last thing I wanted to show you. In addition you. to the card kit of the month from Spellbinders, they also have a couple of other kits. And the one of them is the embossing folders. I am in love with embossing folders. They can really add a lot to a card with very little effort. And the Spellbinders embossing folders are substantial enough in size that you can do slimline, 5x7, A2, so no matter what kind of crafter you are in terms of your favorite card size, they work for you. And to me, that's pretty important. I really like products that are versatile because I also do a lot of different card sizes. I don't only do A2 size cards. So um, just wanted to let you know that was available, but you could check out. There's a small die and a large die and they have a bunch of kits. So if you're the kind of person who likes getting a little something in the mail every month and kind of like being given that like guidance, like here you go, here's this thing to kind of start, jumpstart your creativity. I think these are really fun from Spellbinders and the card kits, you could get a hundred plus cards easily out of them. So they're awesome. You can let me know you like this video with the thumbs up. You could check out the channel for more videos to inspire your crafting and check the video description for the links to the kits of the month. See you in the next video.